I was looking to put a flow sensor on my new pool with the variable speed pump and I found uh, these two different brands here. You have the H2 Flow, which uh, doubles as a backflow preventer. Um, you can see the flap here, you push down, the water goes in, pushes this open, and as it pushes this open, you see the, the meter rises and shows you the gallons per minute. Um, then this is the other brand, different style. The flow comes in through this side, goes through these tiny little holes, if you can see them there, and it pushes the float up to show you the gallons per minute. Now, a uh, couple things I like just off the, off the get-go, some of the pros to this one right here, you can put it right up to an elbow or a joint, it doesn't matter, there's no limitations as to where it can be installed as long as it fits um, in relevance to, you know, joints and stuff. Um, you know, you need about six inches to, to install it, but you can put it right up there and not have to worry about it. With this one, you have to be a certain amount of inches away from a, a, an elbow. So this would need to be about 11 inches away from a, a straight pipe going in and about three or four inches coming out. Um, so there's a little bit more limitations on where it can be installed, but altogether, um, this one is about $127 on Amazon. Uh, and again, this is the H2 Flow Viz. I believe this is the HVC, I think the, the model was. Uh, uh, FVC, I'm sorry, yeah, it's the FVC. Uh, and this is the blue and white F300 for two inch pipe. Um, I was back and forth on which one I was actually going to install in my pool and I ultimately decided that the whole reason I'm doing this is to be efficient with my variable speed pump and I'm gonna go with this one. It's $75 as opposed to $127. And uh, while this is more versatile, I can install it anywhere and not have to worry about how close to a uh, joint or a turn it is. The thing that I didn't like is to get this to work, it's gotta push pretty hard. There's a, a lot of pressure. So a lot of water has to <clears throat> come through to get it to read. Now, there's no doubt in my mind that it will be accurate. So if that red line is at 70, I'm sure it's pushing 70 gallons a minute, but I think that it's going to create a little bit more TDH, total dynamic head, than than it really should, because it's got to, it's taking me some pressure. So um, ultimately, the pump will have to work harder to maintain that 60 or 70 or 50 gallons per minute, because it's got to push this flap open pretty hard. Where this one gets dropped down into the pipe and much, much less uh, disruption in the water flow. So ultimately I'm going with this one. I don't know how, uh, how it works yet. I haven't got it on there, but the reviews I read are pretty good on them and uh, it's cheaper. And for the purpose I'm using it to be more efficient, I think that it's gonna be better for me, but they're both, uh, from reading, they're both very solid, very good products. Um, and I recommend, you know, if you, if you don't have the option, you don't have a long enough pipe, straight pipe run for this, uh, you're in a tight space or you're right next to an elbow, a 90 or 45 or whatever it is, then definitely install this one and don't even think twice about it. But if you have the room and your, your main concern is just <clears throat> being as efficient as possible, then I would go with this one.